What's up gamers and friends, welcome back for more good vibes and another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm gonna be flat out honest with you guys, I have been doing so much exploring in this game. There's actually quite a lot that I do that I actually don't include in the videos because a lot of it is downtime, there's not a lot going on. Honestly, if I kept it in the video, there'd be a lot of like no talking, really just not a lot of stuff going on, so I never really felt the need to include any of that stuff. Trust me, it probably wasn't all that interesting anyway, but it was just for me to kind of get used to the environment and all that stuff, but I've been doing that for 23 episodes now. I think we're on 24. So in all honesty, I'm kind of burnt out on all the exploring I've been doing. I feel like I have found so much stuff that I have included in all the videos so far, and I'm very proud of the stuff that I have discovered and come across. But I think at least for the next little bit, I'm really gonna focus on the story, and I think now is definitely the time to do so because we just entered chapter four, and chapter three kind of went out on a bang, literally. And I'm just craving like a really good story experience from here on out. So I think I'm gonna start focusing a little bit more on the story and then explore again as I see fit, as I feel really inspired to do so. But as always, thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. So with all that being said, let's jump back into Red Dead Redemption 2. There she is, Galadriel. Let's go. All right. So like I said before, I'm going to start focusing a little bit more on Guided quest lines. I really just want to delve really deep into the story, do side missions um, as they come up and main missions when we're not doing that. And then if I come across something that really piques my interest, obviously I will explore it. But we, we have discovered so much treasure, so many secrets. So many secret fun locations. So I really don't feel the pressure to do that anymore. I really just want to just go about the story and really enjoy the story and what it has to offer us at this point. But the, I guess the one thing that I hope to trigger at some point is the wolfman guy, naked dude running around. Maybe if the story brings us back up into the Roanoke Valley, I really want to find out the mystery behind that guy. So that's like the only thing that I'm really hell-bent on figuring out. Otherwise, yes, let's just allow the game to take us on this incredible story. So we just woke up in Rhodes. I'm going to, since we're here, I'm going to do this thing for Strauss. I'm going to go collect some money. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with this? Okay. Oh, we got a. Oh shoot, we got we got company. Oh no, you don't. No, you better not do anything to my horse. I swear. Oh wow, that's new. They have actually. They have somebody tied to a pike? What the hell? Deputy. Deputy. Look, them raiders blindsided me. Tied me up for some kind of ransom, I suppose. Oh! Guess that was paid, though, wasn't it? Now, come on. Officer in need of help. Oh, the law. The thing, the entity that I keep getting in trouble with. Oh, my, how the turntables. You know what? You know what, maybe you'll tell your friends and stop giving me bounties. Don't say I never helped you. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. God damn these bastards. Get yeah. Yeah, that's right. Come along. That's right. Okay. There might be some things here if you want them. And this is the day you almost caught Captain. Arthur Morgan. Thanks again, citizen. It's not citizen, it's pirate to you, sir. Don't you see the damn hat, the fudge? That's funny though, I've never actually seen them uh, have a prisoner before, so. Love how chapter four, we're still finding new stuff. Let's go. Premium cigarettes. 
I want to find all, that's another thing I really want to do, is find all the card sets. If that means I gotta take my giant fortune that I'm currently sitting on right now, and I gotta go buy them at a merchant, I will do that. I will do that. I have no shame. Ooh, what's this? Fine brandy. Only the best for Arg Arger Morgan. Guys. I need to stop. I need to stop. Last time it was Martha Oregon. Now it's Arger Morgan. I... I think I have a problem. I think I have a problem. I need to seek help. Search chest, yes. Anything else there? Nope. No, I can't take that. That's sad. Excuse me. Anything else in there? Well, not really. What's this? <gasps> no! Ew! Gross! No, 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 no. No, that was on their head. I don't want that. Uh-uh. It's got raider cooties, The No. I'll be stripping you of all your valuables, but not your clothes. You can, you can keep that. All right, last one. Okay. Silver pocket watch. Yeah. Thank God, now I can tell time. Easy. Whoa, easy. Those snakes are like not on my turf. I still do need a... <gasps> yes. Yes. Uh... Don't I have a... Yeah, I was gonna say, don't I have a scope on that? <laughs> right between the eyeballs. I need that three-star pill. Yes, I am still looking for that stuff. Also... I should probably bring this back to camp. I think we might be low on yeah, food. It won't take long, girl. Galadriel's like, why you bully these animals, Arthur? <sighs> Alright, keep your butt warm. And then I want to pick- oh. Oh, is it too heavy for dear Martha Organ? Okay. Yep. Dude, I feel like that's totally like his dirt pirate name. I think that's hilarious. Ooh, what's that? Varmint. There we go. What the? That's not a... Yeah, it is. What is that little critter right there? All right, there it goes. It lives another day. Yeah. Okay, here we are. I swear, I have been to this house so many times. So many times. I've murdered several people, people here, I think. Anybody home? That door just shut on its own. I can't take stuff. Oh, yes, I can. Said maybe I want some assorted biscuits for my travels. Y'all need to do your dishes. That's for me. That's for me. That's for me as well. Okay. See, I'm just, you know, I'm not just taking what's what's not mine. I am debt collecting. Nothing in that chimney. Where is everybody? More gin. I think these people really like gin. 
I personally think it tastes like pine needles. Okay. Okay, let's 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 knock down this door. Is there a surprise party? Why is it so quiet? Oh, that was easy. That was too easy. This feels wrong, but also so right. What? I want I want this like jar thing. Ooh, candy bar for Jack. Oh. That's for my boy Jack. Okay. Okay then, like nobody's home. Cool. More for me. Finders keepers. Easy. No bloodshed. Let's go on to the next thing. What is the next thing? I think we should go back into Saint Denis and we should try that again with the whole saloon mishap. Maybe we can actually, I don't know, find the door to the inside. But uh, let's try to let's try to talk to Brother Dorkins. Dorkins. Yep. Oh, oh, you rolling up on the wrong person today. Shut up. Oh, God. I'm going to enjoy every second. Oh, they're behind me. You try to ambush the wrong fella. I cannot see you. They even brought- they literally brought the big guns. And the horse was like, I told these dumbasses. I'm out. They ain't paying me enough for this. Smart horse. Smart horse. I love these Lemoyne raiders. It's just like free money. It's free money at this point. Oh, sorry about your eyeball there, bud. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Well, there it is. Oh, yeah, seriously. Anybody... Like, are we just never, ever, ever gonna talk about... The fact that there is this boat in this tree. I'm so fascinated by this. Easy, easy. And I feel like it is such a shame that I can't figure out what the heck is going on. Go. I know I have found some stuff here before. There is a crate. There's a crate under... <gasps> oh! I never... Okay, I've been here before, but I've never seen this. Why can't I pick it up? Aged pirate rum! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have more fun. And then there's this dead tree right underneath it. And then there's string. Just, just odd. There, this is just an odd thing to have here. With zero explanation. And I can't even climb up the tree? I would really love to know what that's all about. 
Well, it shall, it shall just remain a mystery. None your business. <gasps> oh, is Sa is that Sadie? It's me. What are you doing out here? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Bye. Uh, you're just kind of standing in the middle of nowhere. No reason. Just making sure. All right, Arthur. Things just get more curious. Oh, well, okay then. You just, you have a good day. Maybe she partied a little too hard. Who knows? He, he literally, I went to go around him. And the damn guy went right into me. What the? I screwed up. The second I entered this city, there's just problems. There's just always problems. This city is cursed. Now the damn guy's shooting at me. Your friend actually ran into me. Didn't even try to go around me. I don't want to hear it. We're falling too far behind, damn it. Bro. Bro. I, you know, I don't want to do this, but I will have to do this. Just know for the record that I don't want to do this. I, dude, I'm gonna just lasso you because you deserve it. I'm gonna lasso you. Cause you're disturbing the peace. Not me this time. You're disturbing the peace. Unbind me now, I mean it. Nope. We're gonna go to hell. No, you. You gonna regret the day your mom brought you into this world, gosh darn it. Okay, well, if there wasn't some wood there. The alligators can have you. Yup. Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck. You take care now. Yeah, that's what I. We, <laughs> you ain't a fish. <laughs> I didn't murder him. It was Mother Nature. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep at night. Try this town's wine or women, or just whatever's cheapest. Do I have to choose one? You don't like visitors, huh? I'd head out full chiseled if I was you. What the? Unless you want to be shot to death by raiders. Oh, bring it on. Bring be it on. Your best behavior, lest I stop breaking digits. You know what? You pushed me. I don't only you feel. Push me. I do it. Get out. I do it. Do it. You started it. All I'm right. here to finish Get it. Up. Okay. All right, dude. You ain't All messing right. with no. I just want any reason Put to use this thing. Uh, you came close. Yep. Just close. Oh, Christ! The kind of beggar. Oh, Christ! Yep. <laughs> Hey there, folks. Hello, mister. Hi. Hello, sir. Good day so far. Ah. Good Where good is... Back. It's the trapper! All right, let's have a look. There you go. Smallmouth bass. Sure. Boar tusk. All... I'll give that to camp. We can have some fish for dinner. 11,000 on the nose. Love to Oops. see it. Excuse oh, me. Uh, now, I don't nice want to be told on to the cost by any of you people for disturbing the peace. Don't you be 
Oh, here it is again. Here it is again. Okay, here's the saloon. I don't know where the heck the entrance is. And last time I tried to get inside, I got arrested for nothing. Okay there. Evening, mister. Evening. Evening, mister. Evening. Sir, can you please tell me where the bloody entrance to this place is? <gasps> it was not that simple. Don't even with hey, that. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? We just, we just met. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. I would like some aged pirate rum. a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. But me I personally. don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. No. <laughs> How Pays very well. American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very You also friend. chew with your I mouth know. open. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm. That too. Whole ass. That too. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? <laughs> All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I'm a whole ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah use that. you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, This guy, he's smart. That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's it. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so the vagine I, uh, is the ultimate creator. Uh, but here. <laughs> I like this what guy. Is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. You were saving on toilet paper. That was fantastic. What a guy! I hope we see him again. I love the French people in this game, they're so funny. Ch Wait, what was it? Charles Chat Chatenay? Sketch. Beautiful. Does that mean I have to tag this video as a nudity? Even though they're just circles with dots. But technically they are boobs. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to. It's fine. Okay. What next? Ooh! See, I gotta get them if they're the foggy ones because I don't want them to disappear. Okay, we're gonna do that. Where's my horse? I wanna try to perfect my French accent now. I would also just love to learn Go French. On, girl. But, like, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Brother Dorkins, I'll be right back. People breaking stuff out here. This place is nuts. It's like Vegas. What happens in San Denis stays in San Denis. Excuse me, bud! Yes, 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 I am coming. I am coming. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do I'm you used know to where weird. I might find some moonshine? I what? probably have moonshine. some. Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. 
over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, for a good knows cause. Who's moving that kind of shine? It'll be that stagecoach guy <gasps> in Rhodes. Oh, smart. Yes. Okay, but um, so he's gonna be all the way out in Rhodes. Ooh, and they got a bounty. Oh my gosh, so many bounties. Those are always a fun time. Let's go chat. Okay, so let's go chat with Brother Dorkins while we're here. And then we're going to go talk to Dutch. Oh, where's the horse? Why you vexing me, eh? I ain't doing... Hey there, partner. You, know uh, you doing okay? mister, excuse me. Good evening. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, Every time I see sir. a nun, I think of the sound of music. Every Brother time. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Okay. Oh. Aww. Wait, he ran so fast. Oh. You little bastards. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Where'd he go? Hey, you know him? Where'd he go? Me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Oh, wow. That's a lot of clues. Is that a basketball? Get off me. Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Where are you That's going? Mister? Where are you going? Oh. Pick up the crucifix. And he just gets off scot free. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not <gasps> you. Get away. Huh? Now. I mean, I, hey, help. I, oh. Help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. No. No. Someone help me. Officer. Oh crap. Are you kidding me? Hell of a thing. Just trouble follows me. Debt disturbing the peace. If I get told that I'm disturbing the peace one more time. I just kinda wanna hide on the trolley. Run! Where's my damn horse? Let's go back to the sister. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that was Mrs. Downs. I feel so bad. Every day, it's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges used to... Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but... Who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, thank you. Brother Dorkins yeah. is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but 
My mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, father? Brother Dorkins told me. I told you. was fantastic. Was? Did he die? No way. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. Excuse me? Hear a peep out of me, I swear. Absolutely. Thank you for keeping the peace. Huh. And I won't be disturbing the peace. We need more like you. Yeah. Bye now. Call me Arthur Ass Kisser Morgan. <gasps> oh, guess who needs a brush? You do. Yes, you do. You done good, girl. Oh yes. I will capture Hello. the Black Arabian. I have heard that it's around St. Denny. I don't know exactly where, but I plan to find out hopefully soon. There, girl. You need some hay, too. Um, what I think I want to do, you know, Arthur has been through a lot over the last chapter. I do think that he deserves, where is it, though, if I can find it? I do believe that he needs a bath, maybe a night. Is there a hotel or can I go sleep at the saloon for the night? Weird that there wouldn't actually be a formal hot hotel. Let's go check out the saloon though. Have Boom. you no shame? Boom. You just don't like Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. It's only temporary. This will all be sorted out soon, I promise. What ha what's happening? What's happening? The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. Well, I need not to an get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All okay. Right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Locate and kill the rats in the saloon. Not not exactly what I was expecting. So I can just can I do it with? Gosh darn! There's a lot of them. That's one way to get her done, you know. Ew, oh my god, they're gross. I mean, I think rats are cute, but like, when they wild and they're all over the food. There was another one. Where is it? There is one up by these glasses. Where'd they go? Aha, ha, ha. Oh, there it is. more oh there it is sorry I had to destroy one of your one of your glasses where is the other one yeah it did oh is this a Cigarette card. Um, flip. Cool. I feel like I found quite a few of these. How many more of the darn things are left? Is this gonna go outside? That's nah, locked. Locked. I want to see. Do I have to pick them up and like throw them outside? Oh, there's another one right here. Whoops.
Is that it? Do I have to pick him up? No, I don't. I'll take this one as a souvenir. Ooh, thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse. Good rat carcass. Okay, 12 bucks. Maybe worth it. Well, I was gonna rent a room for the night, but I guess I'm out of luck once again. Shall we just go talk to Dutch? I was wanting to sleep till the morning, but doesn't look like that's gonna be happening. All right. I guess we should just go chat with Dutch. It's not a costume. It is not a costume. Look at Dutch, sitting over there all by himself. Oh, no, he's not by himself. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there, Start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> wow. Okay, John? I guess. That's a house. I wanna see if I can get my. Excuse me, sir. I want to we see if I can get my good guns first. See Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. I'm gonna get my... Oh, come here, horse. Run along now, boy. Never mind, I'll be... special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Fine with my pistol. I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Ho, ho, ho. So, you walk into my city stinking of shit and looking like this and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act you ask me to show compassion have i not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence well indeed you have now we are simple country folk all we have is each other and you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us you had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business we was innocent bystanders and that which we weren't innocent of well we we most surely were ignorant of you twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. 
ti adoro. Fatte da bere sti uomini. Angelo Bronte. Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. All mine, please. <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Wow. Of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What simple. is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Dutch is a smooth talker. Salute. Salute. And we gotta go do the dirty work. God. I've never seen a hor horse crap so much in my life. Oh, uh, let's do... I need to... I need to tune up this bolt-action rifle. I definitely do. You think he's taking us for a fool? No Probably. Idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. What? Sorry, sorry. Whoa, whoa, that sorry. Poor kid. My horse is drunk. I've been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Excuse me, lady. John is a savage. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. <laughs> Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This is the cemetery? Oh, fancy. Also extremely creepy. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, oh, there's somebody. He's running. He's running. There's somebody running. What are you doing? Go. Maybe I should get low. Hey, did you hear that? Yes, I did. Oh, it's a dog. It's a dog, though. Hey there, boy. Good dog. There we go. Okay, yep. You just go about no, your business. It can't be far. Let's keep going. Somebody just burp. Excuse you.
Wait. Shush. Oh yeah. Is this dude taking a crap on a grave? Like, oh, what's going on? Uh, sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Her friend Aww. died. I'm sorry to hear that. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. True. I'll try this way. Oh, I hope we see a ghost. Oh yeah, that's pr that's pretty suspicious. Get in cover. I hear something in there. Where? You boys found my pappy's watching. It's like Phantom of the Opera vibes. Holy crap, that music! Is that that's John? <gasps> Boom! Oh, I missed! How did I miss? You should have played Mr. Bronte. You see him? Bastards are trying to draw us out. Where'd you? Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Nice. <gasps> Ow! Oh, you just wait till I get out my my sword. Oh, sword fight to the death. With the sword. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I pick up my hat and my dignity. There he is. There he is. Ha <laughs> <gasps> 20 bucks on that, dude? Whoa! Hold on a second. We're gonna go loot the other two. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Yeah, they got big money on them. Oh, cool. Twenty on. bucks a pop. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Yes, yes. Easy money. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. I agree. Where? What exactly are we looking for, sir? Huh? I think there might be something in here. Uh-huh. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Oh, of course. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just try it back to where we came in. Damn it. Are you sure about that? Let's go around the side. It's got to be super quiet. Oh, are you kidding me? Can we get out? Can we get out without shooting them? I don't want to increase that bounty. Crap. Don't bite, bite. Is there a better way to get out of here? 
So I won't kill him already. No thanks. Bye. Don't tell me what to do. I'm out of here. <laughs> Come on, John. Hurry up. Well, guys, I just spent the last 20 minutes running from the damn cops. Could do without all the law around here. Okay. My girl. Totally not frustrating at all. I learned, though, the hard way that when you are running from the law in the city, stop running, find somewhere to hide, and sit there. Alright, John, you're, you're on your own. You're finding your way back on your own. Where is Angelo Bronte's house? There it is. Alright. Well, now that we've racked a bounty on our heads. Back to what you were saying. Let's just get back there. Collect our side of the deal. You all right? You best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? Come on, Arthur. Let's go, let's go. We did what you wanted. This better have a big payday. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Oh, ah. yay. You. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> oh, I know and what outfit I'm busting just out. Simple country boys. Oh, <laughs> I know what outfit I'm wearing. No Let's big go. deal. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. I feel like we'll be at that mansion longer right. than just a couple Let's days. Get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Papa Bronte. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. You sound right? like you had a grand Papa time. Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't oh, God. call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? Dang. They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Aww. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? <laughs> At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Poor John. This new house is great. We don't have to pay rent or taxes. Everything! We got him! Mama! 
fine. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. Italian food. <laughs> Italian you food. Eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Aww. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack! Aww. Jack! Jack! How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah. So, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> Let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Poor John. <laughs> He's back, all right. <laughs> hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? <laughs> are we having a party? Loud yourself, Susan. We missed you. Hey, how about a song? How are you? Play us away. I gotta get some beer. Do -do -do. Is that what this is? This is beer, right? Ooh, whiskey. Wait, 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 guys, wait for me. I want to take a seat. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. I feel like I've heard a song very similar to this one. He's really good. Oh, that was awesome. Hooray! All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando salí de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando. Y con la flor del trompillo, me venía con su amor. Hooray! 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 He sure does. Will be unavailable for other activities right, for a while. Happy Miss Grimshaw. Very well done, Arthur. Mirando por a baby something. <laughs> Excuse me, are you pushing me into the fire? What, what, what the? Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Hey, I got a candy bar for you. Can I get it? I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. We did it. Well done. That's a way off, all right. Hello. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. 
If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. All right. <laughs> Where's Mary Beth? I do. No stop Ship you can. her you and Arthur. You better believe it. <laughs> Just save some for the rest of us. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Loiter and suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very Stop, kind. Stop, I love Kieran. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yes. You take you care now, Arthur. going to be hanged for it. Absolutely. For a chicken? You all right, yes. Chunk? Yeah, just taking it all in. Joy is good to have the kid back. All right, well, I should be getting on. You be good. Yeah, it is past my bedtime, I think. I can't complain. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi there. Hi. Thanks. I wouldn't even ask why you're wearing that. It's for you. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. Okay, Mary Beth. I I have a crush on you. I also well, I have a girl crush on Sadie, so she's mine. Sorry, Arthur. But I feel like Arthur and Sadie have more of like a brother sisterly relationship. So I was thinking maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. What? Take this fella for one. Man don't just change like the wind. Oh, he's gave. talking to me. I thought you'd have known that by now. No, Arthur. Some folks change. And others is just too dumb. Is that a subtle dick? She just called him stupid. <laughs> oh, poor John. Is he going out to talk to her? Yo, I feel so bad for him. He was like, hey, we should start, like, you know, sleeping together again as a family. And she was like, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think she just straight up called him dumb. Well, I think I've seen enough for one night. It is past my bedtime. Did you thank Grimshaw? We wouldn't have got you if it weren't for her. Of course. I owe you both my life. Let's just hope all that business is behind you now. Yep. All right, you have a good night. Oh, um, this is new. What's this? No, no, no. You want to want to inspect this note? Why did Why did they have to put the note on the on the map? What's that? There we go. Sheesh. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and Don't put try down to change all those people. fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. 
But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Wow, I didn't think we'd be hearing from her ever again. I don't know why I thought that. Kind of only makes second letter. I wonder if we'll eventually get a third letter, but. Wow. All right. Can I take, yeah, let's do take some of that. Um. Well, we gotta go chat with her. I am definitely intrigued now. I wonder if their relationship is gonna go anywhere in this game. Are they gonna get together? Damn, my head don't hurt. Party a little too hard there, John? I'm like, I'm kinda like playing the game of which Mary is he gonna end up with now? Mary Beth or this Mary? I don't know, I feel like he has outgrown her at this point. Oh, now I'm curious. Um. Anything we should be doing out here, or should we just go straight to Mary Beth? Or not Mary Beth. Um, I want to go. I want to go chat with Mary. Quite frankly, I am very, very, very curious. I also think I'm gonna sell this horse. It is very pretty. Wait, can I access the stables from here? Horse station. Retrieve Gandalf, retrieve Sauron. I think I'm gonna, this one's so pretty though, to be honest. Can I stable this one? Hmm. I think I'm gonna sell this one and I'm gonna hope that I come across the Black Arabian at some point. Actually, where would it even be hanging out? St. Denny. Would it be near Hagen, Hagen Orchards? Like where, where would horses be hanging out by in St. Denny? All right, off to the stables. Absolutely, I can. You. Yes, please. Coin, please. Here you go. Please. A coin. I would give you more than twenty-five cents if I could. Go give him the. Give yourself some to eat. Give him the damn money. They just give me Sir, gifts. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. And I got a lot of honor it's back nice for to that. Give something instead of just begging. Aww. Well, when the system ain't working for you, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Going in here. This horse is beautiful, but kind of want to sell it. Can I help you with your horse? I got space for you if you need stabling. Well, hold on it. How many horses can we stable? Because if you ain't got the papers, I can't give you the full price. It doesn't have the best stats, but it is really pretty and really unique looking. Can I? I want to see if I can just stable it. Gladrios, Appaloosa. Mm, okay, back. I want to see what. Whoops, no, I'll no, no. Good care of for you. No, I want to go back in there. Morning. I do kind of just want to sell it. Maybe I should just sell it. Because who knows? If I capture any more horses, I want to be able to have the room, you know? Um, let's just sell it. 17 bucks is actually yeah, quite a bit. Look at Sauron, Galadriel, and Gandalf. Gandalf is a pretty one, too. All right, I want to see hey. what we can buy. 
Oh, well, I found the Arabian horse. You can I buy it? For a horse. Uh, handling elite? Um, frick yes, we're buying it. There's just no... Ooh, what do I name it, though? Okay, if we've, if we've been going with the Lord of the Rings-themed names, it's a black horse. I'm between Aragorn or... Italian the stallion. Okay, I do kind of want to name it Talion because it is like a black horse. Talion is a character from one of my favorite video games ever, Shadow of Mordor and War, if you've played both of them. I was obsessed with Mordor when I played it. I, I think I've played all the way through the game. I think I came pretty close to 100%ing it. It was just a blast, an absolute blast, and I would be totally down to play it again just because it will be very nostalgic for me. It's such a fun game. So I feel like just to pay tribute to that and it continues our Lord of the Rings theme, I'm going to call it Talion. Talion the Stallion. Let's go. Oh my goodness. You're lucky we had one so fine. Wow. I was not expecting that we got the whole, not fellowship, but now I kind of want to. So there's a white Arabian, there's a black Arabian that we have now. I think there's a like a reddish brown one. Maybe I can find that one one day. And then we can really complete the Arabian set. It's like I'm collecting Arabian horses like Pokemon. Gotta catch them all, y'all. Um, how much is this one worth? I kind of want to... This is a workhorse, right? I've always had a way with horses, you know. It is... A Shire horse. I'm not sure if that's considered a workhorse or not. Um, oh, we ha I have to. I'm using Talia now. We gotta level this one up all the way. Uh, upgrade? How do you upgrade? Morning. Real fine saddles here. I think I kind of like the one that I'm currently using. It's probably... I think it's got really decent stats. Uh, it's better to equip bay. yourself and not need it than the other way around. Let's see the colors on this one. I think I do kind of like the... Let's go, since we're on a black horse, let's go jet black charcoal Excellent bag. Choice, sir. Well, thank you very much. Bed rolls. Canvas You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. Weathered russet. Wool. <laughs> I, does is, does it really matter? To be honest, I think this one looks the nicest. And wool is pretty damn warm, right? Charcoal. I think the black looks really sleek. Ain't no one knows horses better than me. Let's do that one. Uh, is there a... Is there a black one for that one? No. So since there's only a black one for the wool, we'll do that. Um, ooh, appearance. <gasps> oh, my lord. I really think lord. your horse will appreciate it. Long braided mohawk. All of this looks amazing. I don't know what to do. What do I do? I got, I think, Lord of the Rings, I tend to always think braided hairstyles for whatever reason. But, like, the mohawk looks pretty sick, too, not gonna lie. Alright, uh, let's do the mohawk. Did you notice that weird smell around here? I have no idea where it's coming from. Let's go jet black. Very fashionable. Very fashionable. Got natural, I'm convinced regular, horses short, love that. long, braid, and dreadlock. Um, long, short regular. I kind of want to do long because I just feel like that looks super majestic. We got any cool... Oh, that's awesome! But it just doesn't really fit. Let's just go with black. All black. Mm -hmm. That looks so good. Or since it's got a short... Oh, the It'll look great on your horse. Actually, no. I think the long. I think I'm actually digging the long. Okay. I want long. I want long. It looks so majestic. 
absolutely beautiful horse. I'm so happy. I thought I was going to have to catch this thing. All right, Galadriel, thank you so much for everything. I'm going to take Talion out now, and we are going to level this bad boy up. I'm so excited. Care package, yes. Great. All right. Talion the Stallion, let's go. Let's get some food while we're here. Um, Enjoy. Carrot, hay. Sugar cube, why not? Okay, then. Okay. We're good. Bye for now. Oh! Horse are always like, uh, dude, I can't, I can't even believe this. Should we show up? Should we show up? Oh, we, we're about to meet Mary. We have to clean up for the occasion. Let's go swing by the barber shop. Why is it closed? Let's go swing by the barber shop. Go get ourselves cleaned up a little bit. Oh, thank goodness he's not closed yet. Ah, keeping the soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you are hilarious. I have a lady to meet. Yes, we're gonna need to. So. Okay, first things first, for when it does grow up, because it's inevitable at this point. Actually, hold on a second. I'm going to test something. I'm going to test something. I'm not really sure exactly how the... The hair stuff works. So I think you can drink three, right? I thought your mustache could grow, like, way longer. Uh, so three. Now, now I'd like you to cut Only my hat. Only a trim or something fancy like? Trim, uh, facial hair, mustache styles. Wait. Yeah, so it says you can grow it even longer, but... I keep drinking hair tonic, but it only gets so long. I'm so confused by that, to be quite honest. Um, might as well buy this for when it does grow out. Like, we're going to make it look awesome. Nation. And then sideburns. Yeah, we're good. We're good with the, we're good with the natural here, huh? Or should we go full styles? Flying fork. <laughs> what in the flying fork is that? Okay. Um, yeah, and then let's just do a trim. So chin. We're gonna shave that. We're gonna I see shave you look ready that. For a portrait now. Yeah, five of seven. But how do we get to seven? How do we get to seven? Okay. Anyway, looks fantastic. Either way, I want to look at the hairstyles one more time. So this is what it... Oh, God, we got to pomade his hair before chat with Mary. Uh, yeah, it just... This slick back looks so good. But, oh, Arthur, I'm sorry. You do not rock that. No. That's, uh... It looks pretty good. It looks pretty damn good. All right, let's go. Let's go meet up with Mary. Got to show off our new hairstyle. All right, you're ready to go. Wait. Wait until morning. Oh, if my hair grows back. All right, check that hairstyle. Okay, good. Okay, good. No shadow. No shadow. Let's go talk with her. What's going on with you? What's going on with you? What is going on here? What? What? What you doing? I 
You better not. Who the devil are you? Far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cat. I said get out of here. Yeah. Damn French. <laughs> oh. Quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um So I guess we got to go visit his exhibit later on. Let's move. Tight squeeze, but let's turn this thing around. Why please move? You are making me late. Well, that sounds like a you problem now, doesn't it? Um I want to switch to outfit 2. I think that's what I'm currently wearing, custom outfit. No, that's what I'm custom. The Saint Denny, the Winter Gunslinger. Will you move? No, will you move? Custom outfit. Yeah, that's a fancy one. I thought I saved the other one on my. The Saint Denny. No, where's the one with the top hat? I must not have saved that one. I must have forgot. Is that the one with the the fancy? Okay. I'm gonna have to go back. But we want to be looking all spiffy. I don't want to try a new outfit for once. You talking about I'm me? Here. You came. Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Look at him. He's blushing. <gasps> Quick brush. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter. And wanting better for her than... Th than oh. and me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur... Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. Oh. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Fine. For the girl that I once loved. Please. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and 
other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. <laughs> Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So I don't think she think made him feel very, to? very good I'm there. I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old uh, nag. Excuse me? Standing. He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Here we are. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Is he gonna be sleeping in shit or something? Very funny. <laughs> I can't wait for Daddy to see my new Gun's friends. Down there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <sighs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> but if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. <gasps> no. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Never mind, I'm glad that I have the outfit that I have on. I don't want to match him with my top hat. This way. Oh, I see him. I see him. He went around the corner. No. Electric and Power Company. Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. <sighs> we'll just follow the smell. <laughs> Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. He threatened to kill you. His own daughter, what the heck? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> Somebody said it. He's heading across the road. 
You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Have you seen my outfit? I spent... 70 something dollars on it? Lift down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Well, thanks. Arthur, that means a lot. Why are you going that way? Where did he go? Who's he What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable <laughs> rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's yeah, not he's to sell. Oh, it's right just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice. Mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll probably kill someone. You threatened to kill her. Hey, you, Ashton! Hold her right there! Ashton? God damn it. All right, where's my horse? Where's my horse? Oh, shoot. Well, that's not good. My horse is nowhere to be found. Oh! Hey, stop that coach. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's my horse? There it is. Why is it not moving? Ah, oh, sweet jeez. What are you doing? Yeah. Lazy horse. shoot him or is that off limits oh yeah we're not allowed to hurt anybody can I, am I gonna jump to it whoa Arthur what this more we can't have nice things at least they slowed down for me <laughs> go 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 Uh, oh, yeah, move over. Do you know who I am? Oh, I am well aware. Drive to a secluded spot. You can't do this. Did Gillis put you up to this? There we go. Bumpy. Let's have a chat. Get out of there.
Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Or we could just get it for free. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. 25. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer. Are we sure about that? Okay, I'll accept $25. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You What'd you call me? What you Somebody call me? For this. He's threatening me now. Now I regret not beating him some more. Again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. <laughs> I got it for a discount. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Theater? Me? The theater? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> friend zoned. Okay. You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. I am liking Mary Beth You're not more a very and more. Nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> wow, it's sort that's of beautiful. beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? You going sure. to see an opera? After you. I'm really excited for this, actually. <laughs> We're gonna exit before Welcome. it even starts. <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a proprietor or not. Are you in a the rush? The greatest or show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, right. snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you <gasps> to dabble in all three 
if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. <laughs> For entertainment right. is a gift <laughs> that will see you through the winter better than any yeah, f manual labor or root cellar full of canned goods. Yep, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning <laughs> musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Oh, I wanted to cheer. Dang it. Oh, we even got drums? Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Oh my god, her dress. <laughs> I kind of love this. Loosen them stirrups and let off that go. Pretty young things say, Come with me in the parlors and brothels of San Dani. Oh my god. I mean, I'm a theater kid, it's just hard to believe. You won't sleep a wink, I can guarantee. Let's go drinking down in San Dani. is a bop. That's a show tune if I've ever heard one. Holy, that was so good. That girl can sing. Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she just. Pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Ooh. Ooh. Stop it. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, whoa, wait. Oh, that's freaking cool. <laughs> I hope she stays away from the curtain. <laughs> that is so sweet. Damn, girl, shake it. Doing that every 
today? I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> I've had to remind myself a couple times in my head that like this wasn't legit, this was a game. From that far away, this kind of looks real. I'm just waiting for her to start spitting fire now. Come on. I want to know what he would say if we could antagonize. to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I... Bring them up! <laughs> prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! <laughs> bring them up! That was so funny. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Arthur, can you kick that high? Oh, I wish I could do the splits. I think Arthur is now a man of the theater. Oh, 
okay. Did he just say, look at those fannies? <laughs> that was hilarious. Those fannies be really something. Yes. She's like, oh, oh shit, I got off the wrong side. Oh, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> you all see this? Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. We flounder it. through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. I'm so thank show. you. What a lovely <laughs> evening. Come back tomorrow. Arthur's commentary in between. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, it makes it ten times better. All right. Oh, well, shit. Shall that we? was funny. Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love going to the theater. That's just... Whew. My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Oh. I can't lie to you. Man, Mary, if I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. God, like, oh my God, the chemistry. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Oh, the chemistry, the electricity between them, like I could feel it. I, it was tangible. I could reach out and grab it. Oh, man, at first I was like, I wasn't really rooting for them to. Now I'm like, I don't, if he really likes her, I kind of want it to work out for him. But man, that was, that was not, that was cute. That was really cute. Arthur, you got game, dude. I am so glad that we really stuck to just doing quest lines this episode that was fantastic and I just really I love I love seeing the story really progress from here on out I think Saint Denis as much as I am disturbing the peace and as many times as I get a freaking bounty on my hood here in this godforsaken town I kind of love everything that it is bringing into the story this is such a blast I cannot wait to see where the story keeps going I think from here on out until something really piques my interest, I think I'm really going to go full steam ahead with the story and then kind of do some exploring here and there as I see fit because it's really, it's getting really addicting right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I loved that 
ending with the whole theater thing. That's just right up my alley. And I think Arthur is becoming a man of the theater. If you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you're looking forward to more Red Dead Redemption 2 content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell button so you get notified for the next episode. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.